Hello, I'm Randy here out in the uh, shop today, and uh, I'm just telling you, for those of you mechanics and machinists out there, you better lick the Cheetos off your fingers and warm up your keyboards, because I'm probably going to get some comments on this one. Uh, so for those of you who seen my previous uh, videos on my cousin's Ford Ranger here, uh, we had a couple of heads off that truck. One head, which we assume is still good yet, it's just a little bit warped, got a little bit of... Uh, where the uh, water jackets were a little bit of indentations. We're gonna see if we can fix that here today. Uh, pretty much not really any tools required per se, either, at least not for the fixing part. Uh, a couple tools required for checking, but uh, not necessarily anything for the uh, fixing. So I'm gonna, let's get uh, started here. And on to uh, today's featured content here. Uh, we got the head off my cousin's truck. Uh, just real quick recap here, if you didn't see those videos. Uh, my cousin had blown head gaskets, essentially, and also ended up having one head. I think it was the passenger side head had a cracked exhaust valve seat. So uh, this is the head from the driver's side. It appears to be okay. We didn't see any cracks in it. Uh, it is slightly warped, and we'll be checking that here in a moment. We'll go over that. Uh, so, yes, this is the head from the driver's side here. Uh, just a uh, real quick one too. Uh, if this were my truck, it was my cousin's truck, but if this were my truck, I probably would have put both heads back on just as well. I probably would have maybe surfaced them a little bit, but then I probably would have put both heads back on them. And to be honest, I don't think I would have bothered getting new heads. Uh, new heads were not that expensive by the way. So that's why we ended up doing it. Plus I went, it wasn't my truck. So I didn't want to be responsible if, uh, something, you know, happened because these heads weren't quite up to snuff. But anyway, let's go, let's get started here. Okay, then on to uh, tools for the job here, everyone. Not really a whole lot for uh, tools here, per se. Uh, the only, I guess, rule of tools you could say are the uh, machinist ruler and or machinist straight edge, whatever you want to call it. You do need a good straight edge here, everyone. So uh, going and borrowing your uh, kid's ruler does not qualify. Uh, you do need an actual official machinist straight edge. Uh, also, you're going to want some sort of feeler gauges. Got those accounted for. Uh, a sheet of glass. So thicker the better, preferably. And of course, flat, we'll be checking that here in a minute as well. And then also some water. And uh, in my case, I mean, I've got a uh, rubber pad just underneath the sheet of glass here that helps to hold the uh, glass in place. Okay, so uh, first things first, everyone, wanna make sure you clean the head. Uh, we've already done that, that's good. Next, you wanna check for leaks or cracks in the head. We've uh, sort of already done that as well. We probably, to be honest, everyone should do a little bit better job, but that is not gonna be the point of this uh, video. The point of this video is gonna be uh, surfacing this head to get it back to being flat. So to check that, everyone, uh, you need to check it from a couple of points. Uh, you're going to check here, 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 there, and there. Oh, there, there, okay, so there. So hopefully that uh, makes sense. I'm going to be checking a couple of different points here uh, with your flat edge. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, feeler gauge here and uh, 15 ten thousandths or... 0 0.00, that'll focus, uh, 0015 is the uh, machining tolerance for these heads. And uh, if we're within that tolerance, I mean, that's the machining tolerance, so that should be good. Um, just a little FYI here, we did check these heads already. They're like two to three thousandths at the most. To be honest, everyone, that's probably okay. It's maybe not great, but uh, two to three thousandths is not much. So we're going to see if we can get that a little closer. The biggest problem, I think, with these heads, everyone, I don't know if you can see it. The camera doesn't pick it up real well. But we got, like, little uh, spots here around the cooling jackets that are really, really rough. Some of them aren't too bad. But, like, that one there is, uh, that one's pretty bad. That one there isn't particularly great as well. I'd be more concerned about this here than I would be the overall warpedness of this head, which, like I said, is not much. Okay, so in order to check this here, I've got the two and the three thousandths out, by the way, just because I happen to know what this head is at already. But if you don't, uh, you're basically just going on, keep going up through the uh, feeler gauge sizes here until you find one that doesn't fit anymore, and that's going to tell you how much it's off. So in this case, I went holding the flat edge, two thousandths, oops, two thousandths goes under. It also goes under here as well. When we go to the three thousandths here. The three thousandths just barely goes under there. And I would say it just barely goes under there as well. So we're right around at three thousandths. Also worth mentioning everyone, probably wanna make sure you check your sheet of glass too, just to make sure it's flat. 
And in this case, everyone, I have the uh, 15 10 thousandths here. And I can already tell this is actually pretty good just because of the fact that this ruler is sitting on here. And you just want to go along it, check and make sure it doesn't go under. Okay, yep, it should be pretty good. Like I said, I have checked this already. So we should be all set. Again, ideally, you probably should want a thicker piece of glass. Mine is only a like half inch thick here. Ideally, a thicker one would probably be better. But uh, that is what I have. Next one, we're going to spray it down with some water here, and I've got some uh, sandpaper. This is uh, 220 grit, wet or dry. Of course, we're going to be using it wet here, so... Oh, come on. And this is not 409, by the way. This is actually just water. There we go. Should be pretty good. Take our sandpaper here. We'll just kind of stick it on like a so. The water will kind of help hold it on. Okay, that should be pretty good. At this point, everyone, I think it should be pretty self-explanatory what we're gonna do. We're gonna set the head on there, which I've already done, and we're just gonna slide it back and forth across the sandpaper. Kind of watch to make sure that sandpaper doesn't bunch up in the middle there. And we're just gonna kind of go along as far as we can. Check it out, uh, run off the end there. Okay, now we're just gonna go do this a few times here until we think we've got it. This is the fun part. Please wait. And we can uh, stop a minute and check here and see once how we're looking under here. We should be able to tell if we're getting everything or not. Oh yes, okay. So you can already see everyone, of course, the, that kind of goes without saying. These are usually going to show up a little bit first here, the high spots. You can see a little bit right there. That's looking pretty good. We actually even have a little bit right there. That's interesting. Nothing here, though. Ah, yeah, I can see that's cleaning up nicely. Perfect. That's actually looking really good, everyone. That's actually looking really good. I like that. Okay, a little bit more probably. This actually might not take too long. Depending on how bad your head is, it's going to depend on how long it's going to take you to do this. Okay, thought I'd stop here just a minute just to uh, wipe this off, see once how we're uh, looking. And I would have to say well, we're actually looking pretty good here, I think. Uh, you can see like any of the shiny spots, that's where we're obviously hitting it with the uh, sandpaper here. There's certain spots like right here we haven't gotten into at all yet. So definitely want to get into those if we can. Same thing there. This spot here is actually looking pretty good. And I think this was the one of the worst, or at least I thought was one of the worst looking spots right here. Uh, yeah, I can see like all along here we haven't gotten into that at all. At least the camp, well... There, now you can kind of see. Now you can see what I'm seeing here. It looks dark right here, so I don't think we've got that. Not that. Haven't gotten into anything right there. That's rather interesting. So I think we'll uh, keep going here. Maybe another uh, five, ten minutes. Of this should be pretty good. Uh, of course, everyone, if you got a really bad head, you may want to start with a uh, higher grit. Well, higher. Well, actually, I should say lower grit. Uh, this is 220. Maybe start with like a one, a 120 or something, maybe, and then step it up to like a 220. Again, depends on how bad your heads are, but like I said, these are actually looking pretty good.
know, it's been about uh, maybe 10 minutes or so of uh, sand here, but I think it's actually looking uh, pretty good. You can definitely see we got an area in here yet that definitely hasn't been touched a whole lot yet. So I would say it definitely probably needs more. However, I'm unfortunately, I'm out of the uh, sandpaper. I wouldn't, I, I've got finer grits, but this is all the 220 I have. I can go lower, but uh, maybe we, we could do that, I suppose, as well. I could try that. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, this is all the 220 I have. Uh, I accidentally ripped up this one here, so it's like, eh, I better replace that. You don't want to have that happen, because then you'll get like a funny spot wherever that piece is there, right? So anyway, I thought we'd uh, stop right here, everyone. We're going to do a flatness check, and that and my next two sheets of sandpaper, they're kind of on the verge of, yeah, we need to replace them, so... Okay, well, let's do a quick uh, flatness check, see once how we're uh, looking here. I've got the uh, two thousandths uh, selected. We'll see once how that goes here. Make sure we're good there. Oh, yeah. The two the two barely fits here. I mean, barely fits. So probably as far as flatness goes, I mean, it may not be real purdy right in through here. And uh, Alexis, I think I'd like to get that a little bit better yet, like even uh, right along here. That's not the greatest yet. This looks really nice here. Yeah, definitely. I think we should probably definitely get that a little more. Yeah, let's see what's how we're looking here. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> now. No, oh, well, actually, oh, no, oh, there's there's two thousand seven. Not exactly flat across. So let's try straight across. Yeah, there, there's. Oh yeah, there's easily two thousand there. Yeah, so we definitely need to fix that. But yeah, if we go back to here, everyone, we're actually looking pretty good. Two barely fits. So that's looking nice. Okay, well, everyone, after the uh, last uh, clip there, I decided to uh, head down to the uh, local hardware store and actually pick up some coarser grit sandpaper here. Uh, I was having trouble getting out mainly this spot right here. And you can see it's not 100% out yet. It's, it's actually pretty good if we uh, check it. And then uh, same thing with this uh, spot here. Uh, this, this spot and that spot seem to be uh, really uh, deep. Uh, they are looking pretty good here. Uh, I bought, uh, let's see, once for those of you wondering what sandpaper I got, I got this stuff right here. Yeah, 350 for that and we're oh 60 grit 60 uh, grit it is for metal that was the only uh, sandpaper they had that was for a metal there so it's like ah that should be pretty good it's actually not too bad of a surface so i probably should go back across that and clean that up with maybe like some 120 or something but i mean you compare it to the machining marks on here the sandpaper marks aren't much deeper so that shouldn't matter but yeah like i said i think we're looking pretty good here i think i'm gonna call that good i should probably really have one more set of uh sandpaper on here again it takes two at a time and there was four sheets in here. So I should probably really have another two sheets, everyone, to get that. You can see, I don't know, can you see that? You can see right, right in here where it's not quite all the way down. But we'll, we'll check it here in just a minute. We are actually looking really good as far as flatness. So as far as flatness goes, everyone, we're technically okay. I would probably just like to uh, do a little bit more, see if we can get that out. And like I said, that out as well. The rest of it looks like beautiful. I mean, especially, well, I guess we got a little bit there too, but that's... Not too bad. Looking really nice across there. Okay, and then if we do a quick uh, flatness uh, check here, I mean, I can already see everyone that it's uh, flat here. So that's looking really nice. Uh, I've got the uh, 15 10 thousandths there. And doesn't go under, doesn't go under. Oh. Nope, doesn't go under. Doesn't go under. Nope, doesn't go under. Now, if we go to here, and again, I can already see everyone, this is a lot better. Of course, it doesn't go under on the ends. Um, just like, like I'm gonna say that's maybe like 1,000 to everyone. It, it goes under, but not quite. You know, you can feel it's picking it up on the other end there. And then uh, this one here is probably a little bit lower. I'd say that's probably right around the uh, 15, 10 thousandths there. This one here is definitely looking really good. And then of course here, we're back to being flat again. And you can just get it under there if you want. So yeah, looking really good, everyone. And of course, I've already checked it this way as well. Uh, looking really nice. So there you go, everyone. You ever wondered how you can uh, refinish your heads at home with just a sheet of glass and some uh, sandpaper? Uh, depending on how warped or bad your heads are, that's going to determine probably what grit of sandpaper you're going to want to go with here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have some 220. Thought I could get away with that. And, and I probably could have if it wasn't for this these spots right here, everyone. But uh, these spots here proved to be a little bit deeper. So uh, four sheets of 60 grit. Took me, I don't know, what did I spend? Maybe 45 minutes here with the uh, 60 grits. And uh, this 60 grit here at this point, it's pretty much worn out. It feels like it's like uh, 400 when you go across it uh, at this point. So I, I definitely need, if I was gonna do this further, I would need probably like I said, two more sheets, I think would do it here, one. Uh, the 60 grit took it down pretty quick. Uh, I was actually looking, I was hoping maybe they'd have a little bit uh, 
coarser grit. Yeah, it's like I was just go down to like 30 or something, but they did not. Um, but yeah, no, this is looking really nice. Like I said, I just preferably I would take this out before I would uh, put it back on. But uh, there you go, everyone. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.